Hey guys, I thought it would be kind of fun. Well, not really fun. January was honestly horrible for the most part. <laughs> but I thought I would give you a recap on how my month has been, how things have been with me because I've been MIA for a while. Very sick not as much as I was. I have IBSD, was diagnosed a couple months ago, put on medication, and it has been helping for the most part. Uh, it has a lot of weird side effects to it that are not fun. One of them being that if I have caffeine, I can't pee. That's kind of scary when you have a full bladder and nothing will come out. I've been eating a lot of oatmeal. I feel like that's been really helping my digestive tract. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I swear that stuff is like heaven sent. What else has been happening? Yes, I'm using a selfie stick. Judge me. Yeah, January, uh, January was tough. January was really tough. January 11th, my Basset Hound passed away. She was 14 and a half. Such a wonderful dog, honestly. The last six months, seven, seven, eight months, she was healthy, but her brain was a little bit kooky. She had to eat every four hours on the dot. Uh, she would bark and scream for carrots every single time someone would go into the kitchen. She would poop, like, all of the time, like, many times a day. I mean, we shared that in common, I guess. <laughs> but overall, she was healthy until about the last 24 hours of her life. So, in a way, I'm very grateful that she passed quickly and didn't suffer for, for long at all. The last day she was, uh, she couldn't breathe and she had a really aggressive cancer and um, she was bleeding a lot. My mom told me there was blood all over her bedroom because Boo Boo was sneezing and uh, had blood spurting everywhere pretty much. It was really, really sad, really gruesome. But it happened early in the morning and uh, luckily on a day when Boo Boo's vet, our vet that we've been going to since Boo Boo was a puppy, since my chocolate lab was young, uh, was, was working that day, so he was able to tranquilize little boo-boo, and she was no longer sneezing. Uh, however, she was very sick and on her way out, and we made the hard decision to put her to sleep. It's been really weird in the house without her. It's been very quiet. It's been really strange to not have a dog to take care of constantly. It, it's been really weird and the emptiness isn't nearly as bad I think because I've been praying a lot for God to just take that emptiness out of my heart. Boo Boo's been in my life since I was seven. She was the last dog we had that was there when I was going through chemotherapy. She used to sleep on my hospital bed with me. I had a hospital bed in my house and Boo Boo would sleep on it with me and she was a puppy then so she was she was so sweet and so cute. She was always there. She just, she was so concerned and when I had my kidney stone she was right there. She was sleeping actually on the ottoman not even on the couch next to my couch on the ottoman so she could just stare at me and be like a few inches away from me she was she was such a good girl i'm gonna i'm gonna miss those moments with her of her just being my little nurse and just 
being such a love and uh, I'm just I'm remembering all those those sweet moments with her a few days after she passed I made the decision to officially cut my siblings and my father out of my life they uh, they did some not so nice things to my mother and I were very very abusive for over a year now and uh, after Boo Boo died they they were really awful my father said some things that I don't even want to repeat because it makes me sick to my stomach to a be related to his sociopathic ass and be be told things that were so horrible that I just I can't even I can't even process them it's been a weird month it's been a really weird month January 31st is actually when I was diagnosed with leukemia officially January 30th I was the day that I went into the hospital to have my spinal tap and bone marrow aspiration and then like an hour later I was told I had leukemia but the 31st was when they started with the pre-treatments I don't really know what they're called but it, it like pretty much prepares your body or sort of prepares your body for what is going to be put into your body and a month later I had a stroke Luckily though, I will be 10 years off of chemo in April, on April 13th, so that is lovely, and I hope that I can throw some sort of little party or something, because I feel like that's one damn of an accomplishment, <laughs> a pretty great accomplishment. Over the weekend, we got to babysit my cousin's Labrador, and that was something really great that came out of January, so I'm happy about that. I just want to also say though, if any of you guys are in an abusive situation, whether it's with your family members or a boyfriend or a girlfriend or whatever, or just a friend, I hope that you're able to find the strength to get out of that and to know that you're worthy and that you deserve to get out of that, that you don't deserve whatever that person or people are doing to you it's so awful to be in a situation like that and no one deserves it unless you know you're like a cold-blooded murderer otherwise no one deserves that I just I want to give you an update on what January has been like February will be better Fifty Shades Darker comes out thank God thank the Lord um, <laughs> definitely seeing that the day it comes out because I think I should do this every month like tell you guys how the month things that I don't put in vlogs. Yeah, alright. Well, I hope you guys really subscribe and show with your buddies. I put out new videos every week, every other week. Uh, please stay tuned. I love you.